So I'm just, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a loaded question because they're all so amazing. Uh, I'll start with Letitia. Um, I was I was actually present when in her her auditions and um, knew literally because we there were a few really really great actresses. Um, but she walked in the room and the first thing she did was she started um, you know digging on me the same the way a little sister does. <laughs> you know why are you so serious? <laughs> you, know, you know and and I was like. Hey, I'm trying to be serious, you know, to give you your space, but like if you wanna get wanna play around, then we can. And from then on, it just like I knew that she was my little sister. And so uh, it it with her, it was always to me this this feeling of um, you know, just wanting to have fun with her on set. Just wanting, you know, to and it, it was a little bit of like trying to make sure that she was cool and comfortable and and she would always get out there and just light it up. So, uh, you know, I, I just enjoy watching her flourish and blossom and, and um, you know, find her way. And uh, I think with, with Denia and Lupita, you know, <laughs> uh, again, you know, they, they always question everything. And I, I love the fact that they were always, um, you know, always challenging the story, always challenging um, our director. And because um, it makes it easier on me, actually. <laughs> you know, it, it, makes it, it, it makes it a little bit easier. No, I'm serious. <laughs> it, it, made, it made it easier on me. Um, because very often when you play the lead, you are responsible for carrying the audience through the story, making sure that things line up so so that when the audience watches you, they can get you, they can get to the end of the end of the movie. Um, and very often you have actors that are just worried about themselves. And so to have both of them there, uh, it was literally, literally they, they were doing as actors what they you know are doing as characters. They supported that process in a way where you know I always felt like I had somebody that they had my back you know they had my back they had the story's back they had Ryan's back and so um you know I think we we all uh, especially say the three of us because we were probably there the most um some actors come in and out but I think we were all sort of we saw the potential in what this could be. And, you know, with the texting each other, emailing, bothering them <laughs> <laughs> about different aspects of the film. Um, and so I always felt like I had um, to, you know, you know, ride or die, um, friends beside me. You've played me many times, of course, and played some some of those famous figures in American history, you played um, Jack Robinson, James Brown, and just, you know, you're, you're, you're a shapeshifter from the start, you know, what's it like, you know, going from that to playing, you know, a king or a fictional African kingdom, I mean, just, just you know, and donning that, uh, you know, that physicality and that, and that accent and that, and it's, it's, you know, just talk a little bit about just. Uh, well, they're, they're not dissimilar things, yeah. you know, in a lot of ways, uh, I tried to treat this as if it was history. You know, I you know I think in, in a lot of ways I think everybody in this that worked on this film did that. We treated this like it was a period piece. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 in a sense, it, it was it's a way for me to reclaim my heritage, my history um, that was lost. And even though this is fictional, you know I can. See how how does this how does this story apply to my heritage, which is Limbo from Sierra Leone, uh, which is uh, Yoruba from Nigeria. You know how does this how does Jola from Guinea Bissau? How does this com compare to that with with culture and what can I um, do in my personal life to to bring that to the character? And I think when you hear them talking about the, the different uh, ethnic groups and cultures that they pull from. 
everybody did sort of did that. So when you see the costumes that Luke Hardy did, that's the same, it's, it's comparable to what you would see someone do with a period piece in, in doing costumes. costumes. You see hair, it's comparable with what you would do with a period piece. And so to me, I, I felt like I needed to do that same type of research. The reason why I wanted to do the film in the first place. Um, so for me, it's like, okay, well, who is this guy like? Is, is, it, is it a little bit of Mandela there? It's a little bit of Holly Samasi. You know, it's a little bit of Shaka Zulu. It's a little bit, what can I, you know, should I listen to speeches every day from, from these, these people? You know, so that's that's how I approached it. It's not as similar to what I would, would do. You know, it's the physicality that went along with playing James Brown and Jackie Robinson. And, but at the same time, it's, it's the, you know, the same type of research that you would do for Jackie Robinson on the, <laughs> on the political side, the social political side, and with Thurgood Marshall. And so, you know, just throw that all in there. I mean, that's the only way you can play it to child out.